today is one of the happiest days of the year. Today we pick and juice our pomegranates and I love it. The whole family pitches in um, picking, washing, slicing and juicing pomegranates. Uh, we drink the juice, we make jelly out of it. It's just so much fun. Um, and I want to show uh, something I learned. When is a pomegranate ready for harvest? Um, in the past, my idea has just been mid-October. That's when they're ready, this particular cultivar anyway, which is wonderful. Um, that's actually its name, wonderful. Um, and then I just know that that wonderful pomegranates are ready in the middle of October. So that's what I was going on. But I learned something new and I want to show you. Um, I was do just doing some reading on fruit trees and came upon that a pomegranate is ready when uh, it, it starts to lose its uh, spherical or globe shape and it starts to look just a little bit squat and um, almost like the seeds are starting to push their, their way against the sides of the pomegranate and uh, starting to give it what looks like flattened sides. So let me show you. So hopefully camera can pick this up. Um, there's these nice beautiful round shapes and then if you can tell on this side that's where it's gotten flattened. Hopefully we're showing this pretty good there. I think that one looks nice and flat right there. So it's bulging right here and bulging right here and then the side starts to look flat and flat. Anyway, hopefully the camera's picking that up because it's noticeable here. There's a good one. That looks pretty square. Anyway, I don't know how well camera is showing off this concept but hopefully you can look at your own pomegranates and um, note the difference like oh yeah it's not really round anymore it's kind of kind of does have a flat edge the other thing I'm going to do today in addition to picking and juicing these pomegranates is do a little trimming pomegranates respond really well to however you want to shape the tree and I've got it a little too tall on top and our goal is to keep this pomegranate and that one's that one's just a scraggly mess I kind of want to trim that one up too we want to keep our pomegranates so that um, harvesting happens with feet on the ground we're never trying to get up in a ladder to pick it I've done a good job keeping this tree short. I trim it a little bit each year and it responds well to a trimming. I don't have to worry that, oh no, I'm not gonna have pomegranates anymore because I trimmed my tree or, I don't know. People worry about trimming their fruit trees if they haven't done it before, but this is one of those you don't have to worry about. I've got it tied right there too because it hangs over to one side. So it's just on a, a little post tied up. Hey puppy. And then this other one leans much more. I'm gonna take a little bit of the weight off of it so it doesn't lean quite as much. There we go. Pomegranate days here. We have estimated from counting pomegranates and the amount of juice that we get out of them that we get a gallon per 40 pomegranates. So here is 100 pomegranates and if, if it's the same as 
years past, this would give us two and a half gallons. And that's all off of one tree. We'll, we'll pick the other tree and count up those ones too. This is exciting. Love this. I do need a new picture. Here are the newly pruned, freshly harvested pomegranate trees. Took them down in height a little bit and took off some dead growth. Final tally, let's see, we got 101 pomegranates off of this tree. over here something I think the kids got up to uh, 136 when they counted this one so, yeah took off a lot of the tree today it was leaning way way over it still kind of is but I think I think the support it's getting now is gonna be good we'll keep them we'll keep them small trees that's kind of what we were going for back here. Just uh, small trees that you can harvest with feet on the ground. And I've pruned them before. They always come back. It's a hardy tree. You can kind of design it how you want it to be. My main pruning tips are take off dead growth. Um, take off anything that's really thickly heading straight up. Um, the pomegranate tree's natural inclination is to be a little bit weepy, so if you can in your design um, show that off a little bit. Um, maintain those branches that sort of drape and hang. That's, that's a pretty way to go. Um, I'm going to sit under the shade of the pomegranate for a minute. We ended up with almost six gallons of pomegranate juice in the fridge, so I'm excited about that. And then that falls right in line with our previous year's estimations that we get about one gallon of pomegranate juice per 40 pomegranates, and that seems to have held true for this year as well. Counted 101 on the first tree and 136 or something like that on the second tree. It's kind of funny, it's the one thing in my garden that I really count. I just sort of just let everything grow how it grows and it is what it is and I'm not really all that invested and in, I'm not the type of gardener that's going to weigh stuff. And, oh, I got, you know, a hundred pounds of produce this year or anything like that. I think, I find that very boring. I thought I would do that and I made it through one day. Harvested a bunch of stuff, weighed it, kept it in a little journal and never went back. So I just, it's its just not how I garden. I'm, a, I'm more of a, I don't know, I'm out here for mental wellness and, and happiness and a little bit of nutritional value and flavor and things like that. Those are my motivating factors for, for gardening. But the 
pomegranate trees are one thing that we think are just so fun to count. So we count the fruit when we harvest it every year and that's been fun for our family. Anyway, um, this is probably my number one tree uh, when people ask me what if they move here, what, what trees grow here, what should I grow here? Grow a pomegranate tree. They're so tasty. People use them on salads. I don't. I don't really like the seeds. We juice it. We juice it and drink it and make, make pomegranate jelly. So anyway, hope you're having a, a fun autumn day.